One of South Korea's former presidents, John Do Hwan, will be heading to a libel case hearing in the southwestern city of Gwangju in a short while. This over the deadly military crackdown on protesters in that city in 1980, some 40 years ago. Uh, Cha Sangmi is awaiting his departure. Uh, Sangmi, what are you seeing there right now? Morning, Mark. I'm standing in front of former President Chen Duan's house here in Seoul's Yeonidong district. He will be leaving his house in about an hour and a half or so to attend a libel case hearing in Gwangju District Court. As you can see behind me, it's packed with reporters and camera crews trying to get a glimpse of the former president's face. What we know so far, he will be accompanied by two teams of detectives following the car, which will supposedly carry his wife, Yi Sunja, Chan, and his lawyer. Chan's lawyer said last week that the ex-president would attend today's hearing and insisted that he hasn't dodged a hearing so far, but couldn't attend because of health issues. This comes after the Gwangju District Court, uh, when the, the Gwangju District Court issued an arrest warrant for Chan when he refused to show up at the court for a second time in January, citing health reasons. He refused to attend for the first time back in August of last year, citing issues caused by Alzheimer's disease. Okay, Sangmi, for our viewers in Korea, they probably have a good idea what's going on here, but for our international viewers, just give us some context of uh, John Duhan's case here. Right, Mark. Chun Doo-hwan served as president of South Korea from 1980 to 1988. He seized power in a military coup in May 1980 when he ordered troops to fire on student protesters who were calling for him to step down. It ended up killing about 200 people. So Chun was sentenced to death in 1996, but was pardoned and released from custody the following year by the Kim Young-sam administration. He was indicted without detention in May 2018 on charges that his memoirs, published in 2017, disgraced the late activist priest Cho Charyeon. Cho insisted he witnessed the military firing at citizens during bloody crackdown of Gwangju. Chun denied the priest's claim in his memoirs, calling Cho Satan wearing a mask and a liar. Later, a relative of priest Cho filed a libel suit against him. If convicted, Chun could face up to two years in prison or a fine of up to 5,000 U.S. dollars in fines. Mark.